for sure, you guys have understood the power of language when it comes to us Africans. We have a lot of power and resources. One of those resources is the power of language. So guys, let's take this assignment seriously. Passing on to our spotlight segment, we'll be talking about Tema Bekele, a very um, eager and Ethiopian young boy trying to change the world. And so we have prepared a very short narration about his journey in creating the first soap which might treat cancer, you never know. Let's watch the spotlight and we'll be back. Stay with us. My name is Heyman Bekele. I'm 15 years old and I love science. Creating. Born in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, Heyman's family moved to the United States when he was four, seeking better opportunities. His childhood in Ethiopia was marked by curiosity and passion for science. Growing up in a region with limited resources, he developed an interest in solving problems from an early age. His environment inspired him to find innovative solutions to everyday challenges. From a young age, Heyman was involved in various science projects and activities. His early experience with local challenges and his desire to make a difference fueled his passion for invention and research. He utilized local materials and resources to experiment and create solutions, demonstrating remarkable ingenuity and resourcefulness. Heyman Bekele's family has played a significant role in his life and achievements. His parents are supportive of his educational and innovative pursuits, providing encouragement and fostering an environment to his development as a young scientist. His family's support likely includes encouraging his interest in science from a young age and helping him navigate the challenge of pursuing advanced projects and participating in international events. The involvement and backing of his family has contributed to his ability to focus on his innovations and make significant strides in his field. But how did this young, innovative boy get interested in science? Several key factors contributed to his growing interest in science. For example, curiosity and problem solving. From an early age, Heyman displayed a natural curiosity about how things work and a desire to solve practical problems. This led him to explore scientific concepts and experiment with ideas. Creation is when you're exposed to it for really long periods of time. And so that's what inspired me to go towards skin cancer because really right now there are no affordable and accessible alternatives to the really pricey treatment in the market. Local challenge. The challenge he observed in his community, including issues related to health and resource availability, motivated him to seek scientific solutions. His awareness of these challenges likely inspired him to pursue science as a means to address and overcome them. Exposure to science fairs and competitions. Heyman's involvement in science fairs and international competitions allowed him to showcase his ideas and connect with other young innovators. This experience further fueled his passion and provided him with valuable feedback and inspirations. Heyman Bekele's first notable innovation was a novel soap-based compound. Heyman Bekele's first notable innovation was a novel soap-based compound designed for cancer treatment. This innovation drew significant attention due to its potential to improve the effectiveness of cancer therapies. The compound utilizes principle of chemistry to create a substance that can target and attack cancer cells more efficiently. I personally hope one day that skin cancer treating soap can turn into a more not-for-profit organization where we can really just distribute it to people that need it the most. After his first and huge innovation, several key events and developments likely occurred that advanced his work and recognition. For instance, his achievements were featured in science fairs, competitions, and media, which helped elevate his profile, increasing his visibility, which opened opportunities to collaborate with other scientists, researchers, organizations. This collaboration provided him with additional resources, mentorship, and support for further research and development. His success with the initial innovation likely led to invitations to participate in international conference, science fairs, and innovation contests. This event provided a platform for him to showcase his work, network with experts, and gain valuable feedback on top of educational and career opportunities, including scholarship or advanced studies, as well as career prospects in scientific research or related fields. His innovation has surprised and attracted a lot of attention from different bodies, recognizing his work and effort. 
Recently, he became Time Magazine's Kid of the Year 2024. As of the latest update of him and Beck Ellis Novel Soap-based compound for cancer treatment, the next step typically involves several key phases in the development and implementation of such an innovation. America's 2023 top young scientist is Heyman Bekele. While specific details about Heyman's plan might not be publicly available, there are some journal steps likely involved in advancing his compound, like clinical trial, gaining approval from regulatory bodies such as the US Food and Drug Administration or similar agencies in, the, in other countries is crucial step, securing partnership with pharmaceutical companies and research institutions which can provide the necessary resource and expertise for further development. Just at the age of 15, Heyman Bekele amazed the world with innovation that would change the treatment of cancer enormously. Because of his curiosity and innovation, determination and resilience, passion-driven action, he has become a star and an icon for his generation, proving that anything is possible as long as you have your heart in it.